So let's get tonight started. Uh, I want to introduce uh, the current president of Calgary Fish Creek, and I believe the only person who ran for chief financial officer of the UCP, Mr. Jack Redekop. <laughs> I just want to tell you in advance, Jack is hovering on really, really sick. Give me my microphone back. Give me, but he's still feisty. You can tell because he keeps taking my mic. So um, please forgive Jack if he has to cough in between, but he's going to try to uh, give a little overview. Again, Jack read a cough, everybody. Thank you. We'll see how this goes. It just kind of starts coughing at some point and then I'm done, so <laughs> we'll see how far it goes. But um, yeah, uh, I have a, a bit of an announcement already to make. Um, unofficially, I got a call last uh, yesterday afternoon around 5 o'clock that said uh, I was the only candidate and I have been acclaimed for the position of Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> So that kind of changes what I was going to talk about tonight, uh, in a good way, I think, mostly. Um, I mean, I was going to give a brief speech about uh, accountability, uh, transparency, and understandability in accounting, and uh, give my experience there, uh, but you're stuck with me one way or the other. So. There we go. Um, but uh, I also wanted to, I mean, last year we had the largest political conference in the history of the country. And that was 3,828. Sonia knows the number for, for sure. And uh, yes, got a uh, text this <laughs> afternoon. We're at 5,428 as we speak. So we're blowing that record right out of the water. And uh, you know, that, who is that? that's because of you, right? That's because of your engagement. Your engagement, I mean, these people that are applying for positions, they're all volunteer positions. Daryl's a volunteer position and uh, all of the executive. And uh, I just want to say that it's the engagement of you that really has made all the difference. Uh, that, that inspires us, that gets us going. We want to make a difference, we want to serve. And uh, what have we done over the last year? Well, my goodness, we've totally restructured AHS. I mean, all the policy uh, suggestions that were made uh, last year, many of them are going forward. So we're dismantling Alberta Health Services entirely. Uh, that was a policy um, initiative uh, and restructuring it. Um, you know, we were rewriting the school curriculum and uh, we are uh, taking the gender biased education out of, out of elementary schools. Tabulators are gonna go the way of the funeral period. That's already been committed. Uh, so, all of this uh, that's happening really could not happen without the engagement of you. And this is the biggest movement in the history, so I'm pretty old, <laughs> in, in, okay. in my Your lifetime, for sure, yeah. for sure. And I just really wanted to thank you for being engaged, continue to be engaged. It, uh, I mean, Daryl had a comment. Oh, I think it was about a year and a half ago, asking you to come be, get engaged so that we could get so many people to the AGM and get all the policies approved. And then he said, but it's only just starting. And yes, it is. It increases, but only because of your engagement. And we are now in a position not only just to lead Alberta into prosperity, but the rest of the country. There's a movement, and you're probably completely aware of what's happening in Europe, a far shift to conservative, principled conservatives, and, uh, and, and, and we're part of the biggest shift in, the, in, in Canada. So that does not happen without all your engagement. So that was really all I wanted to speak on. Uh, thank you again, and uh, looking forward to serving you as your Chief Financial Officer. So Jack, before you go, Jack, um, Jack is in charge of the Win Back Calgary strategy for the upcoming election in 2027. And uh, he dug into the archives of comments made by the Premier. And one of the key things that I thought that you discovered and you got us to, to be talking about was the six tenets of conservatism. Maybe you could just share those with everyone tonight. Sure. So in her leadership campaign, um, she came up with what the six tenets of conservatism are. Uh, family, faith, free enterprise, 
physical sustainability and freedom. Freedom. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> and charity. So um, they have, uh, Daryl's on this committee, made me chairman of the uh, election review and readiness committee for the party. And those are going to become the uh, fundamental tenets that we're going to be bringing across the province to every door yeah, yeah, yeah. in the province. Those are what we are as conservatives. And uh, we're not going to get into uh, very divisive discussions about single issue situations. Uh, we're just going to discuss who we are as conservatives. And uh, yes, we are a freedom oriented crowd. I wanted to share. I always share some uh, sayings and comments. Uh, one of my favorites is the secret of freedom lies in educating people, whereas the secret of tyranny is in keeping them ignorant. And we've seen a lot of this keeping us ignorant over the last decades. And uh, so without, with your engagement, we're, we're, we're advancing freedom. And uh, that was Maximilian Robespierre. But anyways, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jack.